ScanEasy is a very powerful document management tool when it comes to analyzing and editing documents in IBM Notes databases, including the mass modification of documents. In this video, we'll show you how even the free version of ScanEasy, ScanEasy Lite, can be very valuable to you even though many modification features are not enabled. You can still use it to analyze back-end document item values, including the information displayed in the Native Notes Document Properties window, whereas you will notice scrolling to find a given item value is not possible, nor is selecting it to copy-paste it. To open a document in ScanEasy, simply select it in a view or open the document and then click the ScanEasy icon in the toolbar. With this, we take over the document backend and show all the items and item values in that document, including name, type, and other properties. This grid is typical of Ytria tools and allows you to manipulate the information displayed for a better understanding. You can use the grid directly to analyze this backend document. Begin by creating a grouping by dragging and dropping a column to categorize the information by the property that column represents. For instance, group by type to find author or reader type items very quickly. Just like in a categorized notes view, use the shift minus or shift plus to collapse or expand respectively. If you're looking for a specific item and are not sure about its value, right click the top of the value column to sort or filter. For instance, if all you know is that the value comprises the text string IT, then select the text filtering option. This action results in displaying every value that contains the text string IT. ScanEasy reveals a lot of information on a given document, such as the unique ID, which can be copied to your clipboard, a feat not possible in the Notes client. There is also a reader's author's interface where ScanEasy has compiled and created a unique list of all the readers and all the authors that have access to this particular document. If there are any parent or response documents associated to it, they are shown here as well. Another way to open documents in ScanEasy is to open them from the web. In order to do so, you must go to Tools in ScanEasy and enable Allow ScanEasy to be launched using ScanEasy column double backslash type URL. When you open a given document, XPages, or other standard Domino web application, simply click on the incorporated ScanEasy URL link. This direct way of opening a web document in ScanEasy is a quicker way to access the document's backend values. As you can see, there are a couple of responses associated with this document listed in the Responses interface. Double-clicking a response will open it. You also have the option to go back to the parent by clicking the Go to Parent button on the right. This is how you navigate between parents and responses. Besides managing documents, you can access important elements of a notes database, such as the access control list of that database, which you can also modify. From the left side panel, you can look at designs. You can see a list of all profile documents, which is otherwise not possible in the Notes client. Opening a given profile, you can examine all its backend items. You can even see profiles that are connected to actual users and examine their contents for analysis and troubleshooting. ScanEasy lets you also manage deletion stubs, which is currently not possible in the Notes client. Although the Deletion Stub Explorer is not enabled in ScanEasy Lite, you can still see your deletion stubs and when they were deleted. Looking at them one by one, you can examine their properties and information that Notes stores about these specific deletion stubs, including their unique ID which can also be copied. Identifying deletion stubs can help you understand many issues, for example, replication problems. An important aspect of ScanEasy is managing conflicts in a Notes database. Although the Conflict Solver is only enabled in the full version, you can use ScanEasy Lite to examine your conflicts item by item. Expanding conflicts in the title tree, you can see that each conflict document and its parent are displayed, and you can compare them easily by selecting one and then the other. Remember that everything displayed in a grid can be copied and pasted elsewhere for your convenience. Analyzing multiple documents in ScanEasy is a great way to understand what makes up these different documents. Expanding the section in the title tree, note the standard categorization displayed. This is based on the form that these documents are using. 
Although the div panel is only available in the full version of ScanEasy, where you can get a list of all items across all these documents, with the light version you can still look for a given item value for all of these without the need to create a special view. Start by selecting the item value of interest, right-click it and select Select Field as Title. This will display the value as the title of each document. For example, if you want to know who can see these documents, select the reader's item value, right-click it and select Select Field as Title. This results in a listing of all the people who have access to each document as readers. You can also open multiple documents from the Notes client. After selecting the documents, go to Actions and select Open Selected Documents in ScanEasy. This will place them in a My Selection folder. Then, select the title that you would like to display in the Selection tree. ScanEasy has an interesting feature that lets you evaluate formulas in the context of a selected document's backend item values. This is a very powerful feature when it comes to testing formulas against documents like templates. You can use this to read out a simple item value or use it in a formula to see what it returns. This is an invaluable feature when you are coding, working with computed text fields or even templates where no documents are available and you need to write column formulas. Another feature of ScanEasy Lite that is very useful is the INI editor that allows you to access and modify the local notes INI file. Note, however, that access to the server notes any file is only available in the full version. As always, you can use the filtering and sorting options in the grid to find the item values you wish to edit. These examples of what you can accomplish with the free light version of ScanEasy are just a glimpse of what you can do with the full version. For more information, go to our product page www.ytria.com backslash ScanEasy. If you have any questions or if you would like to explore the full version of ScanEasy, send us an email request to customer at ytria.com with your name and phone number where you can be reached.